What's going on guys? The Comics Kid 2099 here. Welcome to day 222 of the 365 day graphic novel review challenge. Today I want to talk to you about Beowulf based on the hit motion picture Beowulf which is based on the epic poem of Beowulf. Uh, Beowulf the epic poem is about a guy named Beowulf who uh, kills a monster named Grendel and then kills the monster's mother and then uh, 25 or 30 years later he kills a dragon and he dies in the fight. Uh, I think that that story is unfilmable. Uh, now having said that many people have tried and failed uh, to make a movie about Beowulf but what they did they took a few disparate elements from the epic poem and they radically changed everything else and then they made a version of the story that is ultimately very different than the story that is presented in the epic poem. Uh, all of the movies that I have seen are incredibly different than the poem itself and are really in no uh, relation to the poem. Uh, I would say that the best movie version of Beowulf is the one by Robert Zemeckis, Roger Avery, and Neil Gaiman uh, and that is the movie that this comic book is based on. It came out, uh, I want to say I was a freshman in college when it came out and it does make some radical changes to the story uh, that is in the epic poem, uh, but uh, they defended those changes. Uh, I watched the extra features in that movie, and uh, what they said made a lot of sense. Uh, the reason that they implemented those changes makes quite a bit of sense. Uh, I won't go into that here, uh, but anyway, I do think that that is a very good movie, uh, and uh, this comic book, I think, is a pretty good comic book. Uh, now, you may be saying, wait, why is it only a pretty good comic and a very good movie? Uh, I think that uh, one of the best things about the movie is the special effects, and you Usually that's not something that really catches my attention. Usually I'm just kind of like, okay, if the story is good, if the characters are good, then the special effects, that's just icing on a really good cake. But uh, in this case, uh, I already like the story of Beowulf, and that movie came like 90% close to doing the story of Beowulf, uh, but the effects in that movie uh, blew me away. It was a few minutes into watching that movie before I realized these are not actual human beings. This is all CGI. And you may be saying, wow, you're an idiot if you couldn't tell that that was CGI. I don't know. I had never seen a movie like that before. Uh, at the time, I hadn't seen The Polar Express, which was also kind of done like this. Uh, but uh, I just was absolutely, my jaw had hit the floor when I realized that this entire movie was all done uh, using the motion capture technology. Uh, to make uh, human beings and their actions and uh, transfer that into CGI. I just feel like that was really incredible. Uh, now, you may look back on that movie now, uh, roughly 10 years later, and say, okay, uh, we've come a long way in terms of special effects. That movie looks kind of dated and hokey now. Uh, but when it came out, I was absolutely blown away. Uh, now, looking at this comic book, uh, this adaptation is written by Chris Ryle and uh, drawn by Gabriel Rodriguez. Uh, and I feel like they do the best that they can uh, in adapting that movie into a comic book. Uh, Rodriguez especially, his artwork is really good. Uh, he is able to take the likeness of the characters from the movie and he is able to capture that without losing any of the momentum that you need in a, a sequential comic book. A lot of times when people are doing a comic that is based on uh, people in a TV show or a movie, they will go one of two ways. They will either make the characters look absolutely nothing like the characters in the movie or the TV show, or they will make them look so much like the characters in a movie or the TV show that the art looks very stiff because it looks like they're doing a series of still lifes instead of doing a comic book where things need to feel like they are moving from panel to panel. Uh, and I feel like Rodriguez, he does a really good job of capturing uh, that momentum while also capturing the likeness of the characters in the movie. Uh, so this is not to disparage Rodriguez's artwork here, uh, but looking at the art, I can't help but feel like I want to just stop reading this and go watch the movie and be blown away by the effects in the movie once again. Uh, that is nothing against the art here because I do think that Rodriguez is a very talented artist here. Uh, I really like the art that he's doing and I would really love to see some of his art in a story that is not based on a movie where I feel so uh, strongly about the special effects in that movie. Uh, I think if this was, say, uh, Sir George and the Dragon drawn by Gabriel Rodriguez, I would be blown away by his artwork in the same way that the special effects in that Beowulf movie blew me away. Uh, but since this is so connected to to that particular version of Beowulf, I can't help but read this and think, man, this isn't as awesome as that movie. Uh, now, other than that, uh, if you haven't... Oh, wow, I'm sorry. Uh, just... Uh got something caught in my throat real quick. Uh, if you haven't uh, watched the movie, uh, I would say that you should watch the movie before you read this book. Uh, just 
like I said, uh, I like the movie quite a bit, and I think that reading this book, uh, you will understand a little bit more about uh, the uh, direction that they took this story if you first watch the movie and kind of figure out, okay, so this was a decision made by Neil Gaiman and Robert Zemeckis, not necessarily a decision made by Chris Ryle and Gabriel Rodriguez. Uh, but uh, that being an adaptation, that should be obvious. Uh, so anyway, uh, I think that this is a pretty good adaptation of a, a pretty decent movie. Uh, I really like the movie. Uh, I like this book quite a bit. Also, uh, I think that uh, if the movie hadn't happened and this book uh, was exactly like it is, I would maybe feel different. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, those are my thoughts on uh, Beowulf by uh, Chris Ryle and Gabriel Rodriguez. I hope that you guys like this review. And uh, if you did, uh, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will be back tomorrow with a different video. In the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.